Now the last question I just want to cover is, is it possible to marry the wrong person? You know, because people will say, well, what if I marry the wrong person? Should I break up that marriage or is it possible to marry the wrong person? Now we've seen some guidelines of what, who is the right and wrong person to marry. Because if obviously if you marry, let's just use the example of an unbeliever. If you marry an unbeliever, have you married the wrong person? Yes, you did marry the wrong person because you sinned in order to marry that, wrong, that person, right? Because you married an unbeliever. But the interesting thing is, is once you marry that person, they are now the right person to stay married to. So it's not that now you're married to the wrong person. You did the wrong thing marrying that person and they weren't the right person. But now that you're married, the commandment is different, isn't it? Because it says, don't be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. So you've sinned going into the relationship. But now that you've made that vow, you would sin breaking that vow. You would sin divorcing or putting them away and marrying another because you'd commit adultery. So the right thing now, the right person now is the person you're married to. So I hope that makes sense. So you can marry the wrong person, obviously, because if you sin and go against what God says, you've married the wrong person. But once you're married, they are now the right person. You know? So the reason why I wouldn't say you can't marry the wrong person because they're the right person is because the ends doesn't justify the means. Just because they are now the right person, you can't say, well, I can marry anyone then because once I marry them, they're the right person. No, because you are still sinning in order to get there and you should never sin. Uh, so I hope that answers that question. I hope that, uh